Hello, and welcome to part one of my series of screencasts about how to set up an awesome Python development environment. In part one, we'll be discussing distribute and easy install. Now, the thing is with Python that's so awesome is all the different modules that you can import without having to uh, reinvent the wheel all the time. So let's try to import a, a very popular Python module named Django with the web framework. And we will notice that Django is not installed on this system, so there is no module named Django. We need to go and install it from somewhere. So the first place most people, I think, would look is to their Linux distribution, right? So let's search for Django in the Ubuntu repository. And we see that it exists in there. Show python-django. And we will see that it is indeed the newest version, 1.1.1. Uh, the problem here is that, you know, the next Ubuntu version, I mean, it's currently, uh, you know, May of uh, 2010. The next version is coming out in October 2010. So if between, let's say in August, uh, Django 1.2 comes out, just, you know, for uh, an example, we will not be getting Django 1.2 in Ubuntu until October when the next Ubuntu release is. So that you would be going for you know multiple months without being able to upgrade uh, your Django module, which is not so good if you're doing Django development. So the solution to this is to go and directly get Django from the source, you know, the real deal directly from the Django developers and not you know have Ubuntu be getting in the way of your very important development. So in order to do this, we need to use uh, a tool called Distribute. So let's, let's download Distribute. Python dash distribute dot org distribute setup dot pi. All right, we've downloaded it, and now let's run it. And distribute is being installed on the system. And that didn't take long at all. Now the distribute is installed. We have access to the easy install command. All right, so we can now easy install Django. And you'll see it's downloading directly from Django Project, the newest version of Django, and installing it for us. And now if we run Python and import Django, everything is A-OK. -okay. We're all good. We've got everything rocking and rolling. And if at some point in the future, a new version of Django comes out, well, on the, as soon as you see uh, on the news on the internet that the new version is out, Go ahead and easy install you, Django, to upgrade, and you will get the newest version. And since we already have the newest version, nothing here has changed. And that is how to use easy install. Uh, come back in part two where we talk about uh, what happens when easy install does not work.